Jim and I, welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me, Tony, with another channel tarot card message for you guys today. Make sure to join the reading, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I do like to read the comments down at the bottom of the video as well. So yeah, we're continuing to grow. We're continuing to expand. We actually did cross 400 on the subscribers. So uh, I guess once we finish up with the, the self-care readings, right? We're gonna get into some new messages for the collective with the new tarot deck. Um, so um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the therapeutic session today. We're gonna see what spirit has to say in regards to the energies currently surrounding you. And we have Valentine's Day, we got a jumper. Today is Valentine's Day, so hopefully your day is filled with love and positivity. A little bit of sharing is caring as well. Um, or if you're just spending the day by yourself, you know, Furthering that self-care with yourself, figuring out who you are and your place in the world. If the reading resonates, great. If it does not, do not force the reading. There are other uh, air sign readings on the channel as well. Let's get into it. I'm getting light as a feather. So yeah, as you can tell, I probably pretty much took off some, uh, some additional accessories. <laughs> I took that hat off, but the sun was beaming in my face, so I put that hat back on. I'm not using headphones, and then of course I took the sweater off, so hopefully I'm a little lighter to do a little bit more channeling. I already had breakfast, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just back where I started, right? Just balancing it out, balancing it out. <laughs> Let's get into it. What messages do we have for spirit today, or from spirit today, for the air sign Gemini? All right. Um, grounding your reading today is the Nine of Pentacles. An offer coming towards you, something sturdy. This could also be some form of a uh, self-care, self-development is what I'm getting. This could be some sort of a journey that someone's on. Maybe someone is going to like some sort of a um, massage therapy or... Um, this, this definitely could be someone coming towards you with a love offer though. Some sort of a peace offering or some sort of a gift slow moving offer maybe you've been waiting on this this could even come through the mail as well people still using snail mail three of cups a cause for celebration collaboration gathering love what we got going on this morning heartbreak yeah someone could be coming towards you for some for some sort of a celebration this is almost like a serious uh date Like someone's putting effort into it. Maybe it's someone's last chance to make the best effort. I don't know. Five of Cups. Yeah, this is someone's opportunity to turn a negative into a positive here. Possibly like a second first impression. Three of Wands. So already 33 coming out here. So yeah, someone was definitely waiting on a, waiting on either the, you or someone was waiting on an opportunity to come towards you with some sort of a gift. Waiting to bring in that Galentine's Day gift. <laughs> Double synchronicities. We have Eight of Wands and Eight of Swords. Three of Cups and Three of Wands. In the middle of the top spread, we have Five of Cups. So yeah, someone could have been stuck in their head about this. This could have been an obsession as well. This could have been some sort of a secret that a group of people was holding, trying to keep away from you, like a surprise birthday party or something like that. How many people are born on uh, Valentine's Day or born on holidays, right? Nine of Swords, sleeplessness, mental anxiety or some sort of a mental health issue here. Mm -hmm. On top of the Eight of Wands. Yeah, some sort of a journey of self-care. Mm -hmm. I'm almost getting a pause moment here, but I, I'm trying to make sure the words that I'm using uh, make sense. The Hierophant teaching, possibly learning from some sort of a guru. This could even be marriage as well. Mm -hmm. Someone waiting to propose or make an offer to you. The Hierophant, of course, is a professional or some sort of a spiritual leader i.e. a, if not a guru, some sort of a teacher or um, a pastor here. 
could even be an entrepreneur. Eight of Cups. So after the Five of Cups, we get the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so it's, I'm getting self-love vibes. Someone's learning self-love or self-care. Or they're on some sort of a journey, right? Coming out of this Five of Cups, this emotional upset here. This emotional dis disillusionment to go on to this Eight of Cups journey. You know, once we get out of Eight of Cups, which is uh, detaching from things that we think we care about or... Um, even the things that we think value us, the, um, th that holds the most value to us. Had an interesting conversation last night. Um, I was explaining more of my own asshole thoughts, right? Even when uh, like a parent dies, because you know, you, you, only, you, you only have one parent or two parents. You only have one mother and one father, but people don't look inward. You only have one life yourself, right? <laughs> Getting that um, that Eminem song, you only get one shot, do not miss a chance to blow. So again, a journey of, after you get out of this uh, Eight of Cups, you should be going into Nine of Cups, which is contentment and wish fulfillment, right? Believing in yourself, right? Cups are about our health, our love, and even our intuition. Page of Wands, yeah, curiosity, some sort of a journey. This could even be some sort of a self-challenge, right? My whole point of stepping out over the past six months was to challenge myself to do better, be better, learn better, on top of the three of wands, the page of wands. So this could be something similar to what you're experiencing, right? Getting out and being creative, um, being curious about the world uh, as a child would be, being uh, open-minded, learning something here, um, the higher font, meeting different people, celebrations and adding value here, the three of cups, Right, not knowing what the world holds here. Eight of Swords with the Nine of uh, Swords showing up. Five of Wands, which would be training, right? The difference between having these guys here training or fighting with swords and wands. <laughs> Getting like Jedi training. But yeah, this could be an argument. This could have been some sort of an argument that happened a while back and now is an opportunity to... Um, express love, maybe an apology or something like that, offer a gift to someone, right? We designate these holidays uh, in the 3D world um, for specific things, right? So I guess someone's finally seeing Valentine's Day as an opportunity to express love or bring um, value or bring a gift to someone. Six of Pentacles, yeah, bringing a gift to someone. Reciprocation here. Balancing out a situation here. Could also be righting wrongs because this uh, Six of Pentacles reminds me of the Libra uh, balancing scale. It's one of my Libra cards. But yeah, adding value to someone here. Again, it could be some sort of a proposal, engagement, or something like that. Eight of Pentacles. A bunch of eights here. I think we all think we have all the eights out here. Yeah, we do. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Could have an alchemist or someone. They could be mildly obsessed with you. They think about you a lot. They could possibly also be... If it's not an obsession, it's more like a, a cherishing or something like that. But very consistent, right? They've been putting their head down to add value towards whatever this relationship or this friendship or this business partnership is here. After the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely for Gemini, this could also be if this isn't self love, this is some sort of a self celeb. This is almost like um, maybe you've put in hard work over time, and you're about to receive some sort of a harvest here, or basically you're val valuing yourself here, some sort of an integrity that you've learned over time, which would make you more attractive. Ten of Swords. Closing out a cycle. This could have been a, t a cycle of uh, mental toxicity, right? Um, social anxiety, uh, sleeplessness, um, maybe nervousness, or mm, again, a lot of things that uh, that end up uh, that we end up manifesting in the 3D plane starts in the mind. So this could be like lethargy or just being uh, having a lazy mindset. But that that cycle is closing out, and you're you either you have been taking action, working towards bettering yourself. So yeah, this cycle is closing out here. The five of Pentacles. Yep, 
could have been a, a bout of um, not having a safe space or just not being comfortable. Could have been like, um, hmm, the word I want to use, the word I want to use. Like exile, some form of exile. It comes out on top of five of wands. So yeah, this was some sort of a fight or misunderstanding that you had for, from someone. Typically, uh, I see with uh, mature couples or sometimes an approach that couples may take is if they have an argument one night, they would literally uh, spend a night or a couple nights apart. Someone rents a hotel room or something like that to take time apart, right? This would be like uh, a couple that sleeps in the same room every night, then they get in an argument, right? And then, of course, always in, all, the husband, right? He goes and he sleeps on the couch for a couple nights. But this could be literally being outside of the home. Mm -hmm. What was grounding the reading? The Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, some some uh, come something like coming back, f coming forward, or coming out of hiding, or uh, getting rid of this toxicity. Learning something here. This is almost like also not putting up with what people's BS. Once people learn um, that you don't put up with BS, uh, then they, it's like you have to spank a child when they do something bad or even a child when they put their hand on a hot stove they instantly learn not to ever put their uh, their hand on a hot stove ever again right. let's see major arcanas yeah if this isn't already a marriage or some sort of a committed relationship this has something to do with spiritual religious matters or some sort of an integrity um, again having uh, rules boundaries um, that sort of thing that people shouldn't be crossing here. Could be dealing with a Taurus or some sort of a professional here, like work standards. High court cards. We have the page of wands. Could have been dealing with children. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of high court cards. So we have the teacher and then we have the young, curious uh, student. Which, you know, that happens in relationships sometimes as well. Someone has to be the leader. Someone has to be the follower. Even in workspaces, someone's the boss and someone is uh, the subordinate. Secretary or not. But this could be a journey of, uh, a, a personal journey of self-care, self-love. Deli um, delivering? Now, at the bottom of the deck, we do have another court card. So, deliverance. Okay, all right, so... Uh, sometimes people don't need therapy or they don't need an exorcism. They can literally look within themselves. And it's just it's being honest with yourself, right? We have a lot of synchronicities here. So this is something that somebody had to learn uh, on their own or something that someone had to pay very close attention to going to introspection. Maybe see how other people do things, right? Eight of Wands, fast travel coming towards you, journey. An opportunity, uh, abundance here, being very consistent and thorough, very hardworking, being trapped in one's thoughts. So this could be obsessed with, um, it could be a, a, an obsession with positivity or negativity. So someone could be obsessed with their work. They could be obsessed with love. They could be obsessed with finding out the secret I'm getting. Just had a truck pass by me that says HD supply. We're on it. And then the Eight of Cups, right? That's like pump faking, leaving out of a, re of a relationship. Now, um, there is an op there is the opportunity to detach, again, from things that we think hold us down. This is like uh, not clutching or holding onto something so bad that you're afraid to lose it. Right? Freeing a bird from a cage. But yeah, all eight showing up. We know eight sideways is uh, that's alchemy, right? That's mixing and matching. That's the scientific method. That's creating magic, sort of splitting the atom or dissecting the problem to see what get, what positivity we could uh, get out of this situation here. Uh, what else do we have? We did have a bunch of threes. Three and three, three of wands and three of cups. Yeah. Coming out of your comfort zone to make goodies with people, right? Developing new friends and new connections, right? Possibly even birds of a feather flock together. Expanding your options, expanding your connections. We have here, 
and we do have the numbers game but we have five of cups five of wands and five of pinnacles some sort of yeah this is definitely an upset this is definitely something triggering that took someone outside of their comfort zone it's like they literally had to look themselves in a mirror uh with the eight of swords or um just go into like some sort of a deep introspection do something that they've never done before to get a result that they've never gotten before right Mm, nine and nine. Nine of Pentacles, nine of swords. There's hidden value somewhere here. It's just someone has to be honest with themselves, right? Yeah. Six of Pentacles and then a ten of swords. Could have been dealing with gossip, rumors, um, the opinions of others, um, maybe even learning something from an unfamiliar place. Six of Pentacles, an unexpected charity, an unexpected gift or an offer, or a balance coming from an unexpected place. Possibly the internet, right? Books, information is no longer hidden in books nowadays. We have the internet. <laughs> People go on the internet and self-diagnose themselves, right? <laughs> Believe it or not, doctors do the same thing. I've been, I've sit, I've sat in a doctor's office and watched a doctor Google symptoms or Google diseases, right? Um, yeah, that's all the cards. But yeah, we did have a crescendo here with the numbers. So there's a, there's a slow progression, right? It's very slow. One of the slowest moving nights in the deck, but uh, sure to get there. Sure to um, come across uh, a new thought form. Um, it's like, uh, it's almost like I'm moonwalking or walking backwards. How how fast can you get to your destination walking backwards? Have you ever tried running backwards? Or um, sprinting head towards uh, something here? Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for you here, Gemini. Any more messages from Spirit? The Two of Wands. Yeah, so being patient here looking at the options around you and realizing that um uh, a good way to think about uh any type of problem is that you know there's what nine billion people ten billion people on this planet imagine how many dead bones are under the ground right now how many people that came before you right i always talk about the same stars and moons that she was looking up in the sky last night are the same stars and moons and sun that a million years ago people was looking up at so um a problem can be easily solved when you put it in the right perspective right maybe you're getting advice from other people or maybe you're like me maybe you can watch other people go through something and learn from them we got the six of cups yep healing here some sort of a medicine or an apology a gift an offer coming towards you mm -hmm. looking back on old memories but this is love headed towards you possibly self-love realization of self-love judgment yeah an aha moment mm -hmm. now you have a testimony here earth angel activity something important under your belt so that is the message for you here today gemini mm -hmm. yeah you only have one major arcana so it's probably something that you was thinking in your head uh, by yourself.